Hello subscribers and fellow YouTubers. Many of you have recently asked me, Mike, what would be some good investments to own within a Roth IRA to help me generate additional income in retirement? So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Please know I'm not a professional investor by any means, and you guys obviously know that. This video is purely for your entertainment and education. However, I will say by the end of this video, you will have a better idea of my current Roth IRA investing strategy and see if it makes sense for you in your situation. The investment choices we're gonna be discussing in this video are for a standard Roth IRA. And by standard Roth IRA, I mean it is not, and I mean not a self-directed IRA. That's a whole nother animal for a different video if I wanna produce a video on that in the future. The common investment choices for a standard Roth IRA include mutual funds, ETFs, stocks, bonds, money market funds, annuities, certificates of deposit, and cash. There are two primary Roth IRA investment strategies that I've learned about through my personal experience, from talking with financial advisors, and just from my own research. The first strategy is the income strategy, and that strategy is for people who want to use their Roth IRA to help them generate additional income in retirement. And that's the strategy that we're going to discuss in this video. The second strategy is for growth. And that's for an investor who's looking to grow the underlying value of their assets within their Roth IRA as quickly as possible and doing it tax-free. The growth strategy is great for somebody who really likes trading or who is a very active investor. And of course, there's a third strategy, which I can call it the hybrid strategy. That's if you use your Roth IRA for to help you generate some income in retirement, but also do a little of growth investing as well. Now, this is gonna kind of sound silly, but I kind of think of, of building a Roth IRA kind of like building a video game character, like a character in Diablo 2. You can build it whatever way you want. You can give it what skills, what abilities it has, it's whatever is gonna help you accomplish your long-term goals. Now, a person implementing the income strategy is a person who's giving up some growth for a steady, consistent stream of additional income in retirement. Let's talk about the main types of investments for implementing this strategy within your Roth IRA. The first investment choice to consider for an income strategy is dividend-paying ETFs and dividend-paying mutual funds. Some examples include VIG, VYM, those two are Vanguard ETFs, VDRR and VIDI, and those are Fidelity Dividend Paying ETFs. The next type of investment to consider for your Roth would be a real estate investment trust, commonly known as a REIT. And what's great about having a REIT in your Roth IRA is that if you, if you had this investment outside of this tax advantage account, you would pay, be paying ordinary income rates on all the dividends you received no matter what. But what's great within a Roth IRA is that you can get that high yield from a real estate investment trust and not have to pay any tax at all. Some examples of REITs include NNN, PSA, which is public storage, DLR, and EPR. Now let's talk about blue chip dividend paying stocks. These are brand name companies that have been around for a long time that can continually pay you income monthly, quarterly, or annually. Some examples of dividend paying blue chip stocks includes AT&T, JP Morgan, Chevron, Procter & Gamble, Kimberly Clark, etc. Last but not least, you might consider having some high yield bond funds within your Roth IRA. Two examples include ticker symbols PFF and the from Vanguard, which I talked about this in my Vanguard bond video, is Vanguard Corporate Bond Fund VCLT. Those are two examples of high yielding bond fund ETFs. But the bottom line, guys, is seek out companies that routinely raise their annual dividend payout. You might consider looking at consumer staple investments, such as utility companies, basically things people need to live regardless if the economy is good or bad. Household items, food and beverages, etc. Having a portion of your Roth IRA invested in these type of companies might be wise. Now, those are some of the investment options I would consider if you're looking to build an income portfolio within your Roth IRA. Now, let's talk real quickly about some investment choices that personally I would not consider or recommend for most people who are trying to implement this strategy. I would, uh, personally, I would avoid money market funds, certificates of deposits, because interest rates are too low, taxes and bond funds, because the, you're already getting tax-free income because you have the investments in a Roth, and annuities. Another question people commonly ask me is, Mike, what sort of annual yield should I shoot for? Well, personally, what I shoot for, and it's t this is totally up to your discretion, but I aim for a three to 4% annual yield in my portfolio. So what I mean by that is if I list all the investments in my Roth IRA, I want that my average yield to range between three to 4%. I think currently it's around three and a half percent at the moment. 
And you can accomplish that sort of yield range with a varying mix of investments. So I have some investments only offer me a 2% yield, while other investments such as some of my corporate bond funds or REITs have a 6% or you know, like 5 or 6% yield. So it just depends. But overall, if I net that together, the, take the weighted average of all those yields, I'm gonna get about a three to 4% yield, annual yield in my portfolio. But just remember guys, it's not always about having the highest yield because if, if the yield's too high, it might make the investment unstable and the value of your investment might decline. So just keep that in mind when you're investing. It's not, don't be fooled by the yield. There's, there's pros and cons to having high yields. The next thing we should talk about is diversification because in my opinion, diversification is key for this income strategy to, to work in the long run. I mean, if you want income coming in consistently for the rest of your life, it's good to have a varying mix of investments. Now, personally, I, in my opinion, if you're buying somebody who's buying individual stocks within your Roth IRA, I'm gonna, I think you would want anywhere from 20 to 40 different stocks that pay interest or dividends or whatever to, to make sure you're diversified enough so that if one goes down, you're still gonna have income coming in for life. If you're somebody who wants to buy all ETFs, you can get away with much fewer ETFs because ETFs are inherently by nature already diversified. So you could probably get away with having 10 or less ETFs in your portfolio to, to accomplish that. So 20 to 40 different stocks are around five to 10 ETFs are mutual funds. So whatever, whatever works for you. So Mike, how much income can I expect to make using this income strategy? My video regarding how rich a Roth IRA can make you will answer that question in great detail. I'll link that video up here for you guys in the description section down below. For my wife and I personally, we are both maxing out our Roth IRAs every single year. We estimate that, that many years from now, but closer to the age of our retirement, our Roth should be able to provide us with a, a net annual income of anywhere from twenty dollars to $40,000 a year, completely tax-free. I do want to point out that for most people, just having income from a Roth IRA will probably be not will probably not be enough income to sustain you through retirement. So I think it's wise to have other retirement options, such as a 401k, rental properties, or other investments to help you supplement your income. But it's a fantastic income supplement because it's completely tax-free. Now the income you receive from your Roth IRA as it comes into your account quarter after quarter, month after month, you can keep reinvesting it, and that's how you get that compounding interest magic to work in your portfolio. As you guys can see on the screen here, these are some of my dividend payouts from my Roth IRA. As each and every year, my income and my wife and I's Roth IRA continues to grow up. And so year after year after year, we're gonna to continue to make more and more money as long as we keep investing this way. Recently, I just made a video on dividend reinvestment plans, the pros and cons of drips. Now, you can watch that video, I'll link it up in the description section below, but maybe for a Roth IRA, it might be a great choice to use a drip within your, within your Roth IRA because your dividends will be automatically reinvested for you and you'll keep that compounding interest happening quicker and quicker and quicker so that you don't even think about what you have to invest in all the time. So it, you might consider a drip for a Roth IRA. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the downsides of this strategy because every strategy has pros and cons, but one of the major cons of an income investment strategy like this is that you're gonna give up a lot of potential for growth by doing this because you're focused mainly on the annual yield of investments versus the overall underlying capital appreciation. You can still get capital appreciation if you've invested this way, but not as much as if you were a growth investor who is focused on growth ETFs and growth stocks like tech stocks, pharmaceuticals, biotech, things like that. But besides that guys, really given an investment time horizon of 20 to 40 years, if you start early, you can truly build up an income producing portfolio that pays you tax free income in retirement for the rest of your life. The key is not to touch the principle of the underlying investment unless you absolutely need to. And for that reason, that's why I mentioned it's good to have other investments for you, bringing you in income so that you're not, you don't have to draw down the principal. Because as long as you don't have to touch the principal, you can live, help live off those dividends as a nice income supplement, and you'll have that income coming in for the rest of your life. It's kind of like having your own form of social security. Now, I realize this strategy isn't for everybody, but if it sounds like, if you're somebody who's seeking more income in retirement, then you should consider this strategy. And best of all, guys, you know, no, nothing's set in stone. It's totally up to you. If you, in fact, I would like to know if you guys like the strategy, uh, why or why not, let me know if this aligns with your goals. But if you're a growth investor or you have another strategy that you're implementing for your Roth era, please share your ideas and thoughts down below. I would love to hear what you guys are doing within your own portfolios. Now, there's 19 million people in America currently with Roth IRAs, and that number keeps growing every single year. So there's all sorts of strategies you guys can use, but let me know what's working for you and what you're using your Roth IRA for and what goals you hope 
it's gonna help you accomplish in the long run. You can change your strategy up anytime. If, if you're a growth investor and if you wanna to switch to an income investor, you can totally do it. If you're an income investor and wanna to switch to a growth investor, you can do that. So don't, it's, you're not, nothing set in stone here, guys. If you guys have not seen my other Roth IRA videos, make sure to check them out. I'll link them up down in that description section down below. And I have other investment videos as well. V videos on dividend investing, reviews of Vanguard funds, Fidelity funds, etc., and even videos on 401k investing. All right, guys, well, that's a general overview of this Roth IRA income investing strategy. And the next time we make a Roth IRA video on this channel, what I'll do is I'll cover the growth investing strategy and kind of how to implement that within your portfolio. But if that being said, if you guys liked the video, if you, if you found this topic helpful, let me know by smashing that like button down below. Share this information with a friend, especially somebody who's wanting to open a Roth IRA or learn how to invest in a Roth IRA. They might really like this income investing strategy because it's very simple to implement and to follow. And then last but not least, if you have not already subscribed, make sure to do so by hitting that red subscribe button down below. Chipper and I here are dedicated on Money and Life TV to help you become fiscally fit. And we do that by helping you learn finances, investing, and taxes on a regular basis. So make sure you're subscribed for our future videos. Okay guys, well I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section down below. Thank you so much once again for all the support you guys provide me on this channel. And you know what to do. Take this information and use it to live your life on Caged. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Have a great week, everybody.